Hello everybody, so today I am going to show you a way to uh, filter content which is shown to you online. So as a parent you must be worried uh, that your children are watching unwanted things. So as personally you may be uh, bothered by adware that you don't want to see. So if those kind of things are probleming you, uh, is problematic in your life. So using DNS content filtering you can easily prevent them from happening. So what I'm going to show you is content filtering using DNS servers. So the first step is to check whether I can access um, content that, are, that I don't want to see. So if I go to an adult content site, I'm easily taken onto it. Uh, if I go to another, again I'm taken onto that page easily. So if I want to filter these websites, what I can easily do is use a DNS server called OpenDNS. So OpenDNS is a company which is managed by Cisco. So what they have done is they have created custom uh, con uh, filters which are uh, categorized into the things that mostly the people need in their life. Like adult content, ad filtering, unwanted adware. Um, religious activities if you don't want to see those things those kind of things so the reason that I was able to see unwanted things in my online activities is because the ISPs the DNS servers that they use they are not filtered so they are unfiltered DNS servers so if you go onto your routers page like so so this is my routers page and if I log into my routers page and if you go to a place which is shown in your router as a DNS option so most of the time it will be under your DHCP server configuration so the way that you access may differ from router to route so in my case I have the DNS IP as 192.168.0.1 same as my uh, current router's IP address so what will happen is whenever I browse something the request comes to this IP address which is my router and it is forwarded back onto my ISP's IP address which is this DNS IP address so the, the DNS IP address which is given to me by the ISP is not filtered so because of that I was able to access those unwanted websites so if I need to prevent this from happening what I need to do is uh, I need to use something to prevent this so that's why I'm going to use OpenDNS so as OpenDNS is a free solution you can easily use this so first go to OpenDNS.com the website and you will be taken onto this page and what you will need to do is you need to click on this and go to consumer so in consumer there are two options so if you are a beginner and you don't need to uh, custom configure anything you can just click on the setup guide here and click on home router so the easiest way that you can use is uh, go into the home router configuration page and see the configurations that is required for your router if your router is the router doesn't show uh, is shown here what you can do is go back to the page that you were before and copy these addresses so these are the DNS addresses given to us by OpenDNS so what you need to do is just copy them and go back to your routers page and go to the place that I just showed you where the DNS configurations are for your router and replace the IP address with the one you just showed so there are two IP addresses give, give both of them to the two respective places so afterwards what you need to do is click save and exit but if you need to have some more control of your network what you can do is you can click on the home open DNS free option which is customizable but the thing is you need to sign up first so if you click on the sign up icon you will be taken to this page so if you are already a client you can just click on sign in if not you just give your email address and confirm your email address give your country and the password and create a free account afterwards what you need to do is sign in to your account so as I have already created one I'm not going to do it again so this is the login page which is given to me after I signed in 
so now what you need to do is you need to add your public IP address which is given to you by your ISP so my public IP address is this one so this IP address which is given to me by my ISP uh, is the one we are going to add to this configuration page the reason for that is using this public IP address uh, the open DNS server can communicate easily and customize the filters that I want so normally you won't have this option here so I'm going to delete this first initially you will get a page like this so by default uh, you will be uh, given the IP address which is given to you by your ISP so as you can see my pub, uh, ISP has given um, me this IP address and automatically in the dashboard that IP address is taken so what I need to do is just click at this network and they are asking us to give a friendly name I'm going to give SLT and afterwards they are asking whether this IP address is a dynamic IP or not so if you have a static IP address it's much more better but if you have a dynamic you need definitely need to click on this icon and select it and after they are, afterwards they are asking us to download a software the reason for us to download this software is as this public IP address is a dynamic IP you will need to update this so normally you will need to update this manually but they have given us a solution which is to download their software and install it uh, onto a PC which is regularly run in inside your home network so click on this icon and download this application after the download is done install this application and click done here so the IP address is added after the installation of this application you will get something like this so still it's not configured properly so it says uh, using open DNS but no the reason is because we still haven't added the IP addresses given to us by OpenDNS uh, for this uh, configuration page. So now what we need to do is go scroll down and you should be able to see two DNS servers mentioned here. So like before, we just what we just need to do is we just need to copy, go back to your router, paste one here, again go back copy the second one and replace it here so these IP addresses are the IP addresses given to us by the custom open DNS dashboard so the previous IP addresses are the ones they, which are given to us pre-configured by open DNS so from the current IP addresses I just added you can custom configure whatever the content that you want to filter or not so after adding these IP addresses click OK and your router may reboot and afterwards you should be able to see that the websites and all the other things that were able to access now cannot be accessed so if you need to customize much, uh, additionally what you need to do is go back to your dashboard and click on the public IP address that you just added onto your system um, onto your open DNS dashboard after clicking on you should be able to see an option called custom and here you can select anything that you want to filter so I'm currently going to select these options so that I don't want to see the adult content and if you need other things like alcohol adult things or those kind of things you can disable those also and here you have the option to disable adware date insights those kind of things also so currently I just I'm just going to select these three options and this one also and click apply so it may take a few minutes to update so after the few minutes are done you should be able to uh, see the websites that uh, that were previously able to access cannot be accessed so now if I try to access those websites I will I, which I was able to access previously still I am able to go but if I stayed for a little bit more I won't be able to access them but still they are able to go the reason for that is when we re, uh, apply these IP addresses 
the network cards didn't update yet so if we go and check our network card and go to details you should be able to see that the IP addresses that are given to us uh, into this PC is still the previous ones which were applied to us by default by the router so we just need to do is we just need to disable the network card and enable it back again so after you enable it go back to status and details and now you should be able to see the new DNS IP addresses that we just apply which was given to us by open DNS now if you go back and click on update now of that app, uh, the application that we just installed from open DNS it says now yes and the IP address is taken and now we should be able to filter the content that was previously accessible so as you can see the website which was previously accessible is not accessible now if I click on advance it asks us to proceed anyway but if I click on it it says the this site is blocked due to content filtering so like that you are able to filter content that are unwanted to you and um, protect your network and if you are a parent you can protect your children from seeing these unwanted websites so thank you guys for watching and i think that this content is much more helpful for you and have a nice day thank you